everybody and welcome back to another episode here for my single player let's play how is everybody doing oh man i'm doing so good hopefully you guys are doing amazing today we're going to continue our castle i'm going to get as much done as humanly possible because i know 116 and another update is right around the corner so i'm going to see maybe we can get all the walls up for the main structures and maybe on the next episode we can do all the uh well most uh, of the interior we'll do some interior i don't know i even did a little bit of work and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now but also i gotta show you this brand new supporter house that i built right here for you guys and thank you all so much again for all the love all the support everybody who uh, who joins the 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 youtube supporter group we have tier ones twos and threes you know and in tier two uh, what tier three tier three gets a house right bam there it is look how cool i love it i started playing around more now with the uh, the recessing in of the main walls and try to see if i can come up with cool design features on the outside usually my uh typical style is like uh it's like this right like flush but highly texturized and that's a good way of making it look cool and unique and different when you have it flush you texture it right so it can look a little bit uh more run down and ruin and the details are in the texturing right just like this see the details are in the texturing even though it's flat wall is textured and it looks nice right but if you do this if you recess it in by one you don't have to texture as much like this i didn't hardly do any texture this is stripped dark oak and it looks cool because you have it pushed back a little bit so there's a little bit of tips and tricks with your boy uh but check it out look at that got a little fireplace over here i love the different roof styles here we got a little bit of a slab roof pattern here on the back look at this little curve isn't that cute right here a little like a little bit of a hobble hole um and then over here we got that oh i forgot a glass it's okay it's fine uh but <laughs> check it out this is cool i like this a lot and we got a little bit of a recessing in too on the top on the roof as well sort of playing around with the shapes and it looks pretty cool i can't get up hold on it looks pretty cool look at that look at this big roof on this side and the smaller roof on the other side new school overhang bit what do you think of that one that's nice right but let me show you this is coming from our friend uh, super steve hopefully you enjoyed this steve thank you again for all the support you're amazing let's go on the inside and look at that flower box uh, but look at the inside. Look at this. I love packing in all these details in this little, those little spaces. But watch this. You got a little bit of a kitchen corner. You got a lovely dining room over here. A nice little area over here. A little desk. But then on the second floor, check this out. Look at this little bedroom. How nice. We got this little uh, library corner bit. A bunch of shelving units on the side. I love this bed frame. Look at that with the beehive blocks and the, the barrels. Look at that. We got some paintings on the side and some uh, flower pots with flowers. Look how nice this bed frame. I'll sleep in this thing. Is it almost nighttime i was sleeping here steve if you let me it's fine no i'll leave uh but hopefully you guys uh enjoy these uh supporter houses they are a joy and a pleasure and thank you all so much and you know what we just recently passed 435 thousand subscribers almost at three uh, at 450 almost at 450 not 350 almost at 450 you guys are amazing by the time we get to, to 500 maybe one day uh we'll throw a big old party let me know what you guys want to see as a 500 thousand subscriber special put hashtag 500 thousand let me know what you think we should do I, maybe something fun i don't know um and for everybody keeps saying face reveal go on my twitter literally the, uh, i released a picture uh probably every other week whenever i get a haircut i look pretty and go ahead and look at it go on my twitter right now go on my media tab look at the pictures my face is there stop saying face reveal go on to it it's free you don't even need to sign up just go on it and look okay there you go my face is very cool <laughs> there it is but you know what let's head over uh to the castle let's see what we got in store for today all right let's get inside this place uh oh this is not horse friendly um yeah okay give me a second uh yeah i'm recruiting poppy to be part of the king's guard all right because i got a little something that i built up that i think you guys might like can i fit in this one uh, poppy don't go don't you go don't leave D trust me i'm gonna need you in this uh battle uh can we fit can we oh god that hurt me so much all right let me f uh, fix this back i'm gonna make this a little bit more horse friendly in the future but for right now that's fine let's go what's up uh, friends oh baby all right let's go on up let me show you what i've been doing i did a little bit of work i did a little bit of outlining as well uh on the next phase uh you can't see it from here it's fine come around let's go around. what's up man this what's going on uh but check it out oh hey everybody keeps asking for a tutorial for the knit without is coming trust me it's coming i got a lot i'm so busy trying to figure uh, figure this out and make sure this thing is oh my god look how pretty it's built up before 116 but i'll get to those eventually uh we might be lighting the tutorials until i get all this settled but look at this view from down here can i get a moment of silence Shut up, villagers! Doing a moment of silence over here. Thank you. Oh, now they talked after I said thank you. Okay, let's go on up. Oh, man. Check it out. I did a lovely and amazing 
little baby of a horse stable. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can find the comment. If anything, I'll pop it right here, boop. If I didn't pop it right there, then um, the boop was for nothing, but somebody, a beautiful human being mentioned, and I, hopefully I remember, don't worry, I saw it, that's why I did it, okay? Don't worry. I know you, and you know me, we're friends now, but somebody said, to put a little bit of a horse stable up here and it'd be better than a little black smithy spot because maybe we could put a little smithy over here on this side and a horse stable would be perfect right over here that's why i brought poppy let's go poppy hang out right there look at this oh and i built this little stupid stand it's, it's just nothing it's just i wanted to put something in this space but check out that who's up on that look at that isn't that nice poppy going in all right go on ahead poppy go on in Go on. No, okay. Let me put you in that. Uh, go, hold on. There it is. I need two more horses. I need two more. I'll bring them over from our main horse table. You know what? I forgot to name you, Cinnamon. I'll go get a name tag. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, initially, I had it like very clean. Just slabs going straight up into the back. But then I was like, let me break it up. Let me make it look nice. Uh, and what do you think? Give me a one out of ten sausages. One being sausage. You do not know how to make a horse table. To ten sausages being sausage oh wait and you start speaking in tongues which one is it pick and let me know um and it's pretty cool at this part you're not gonna really see because this little area is gonna kind of curve and turn to the side it's almost like a little out uh outdoor uh storage of just hay and a couple i just put campfire but i don't know what to put on there but look at that it's not gonna look cool i love it and then this place is gonna be lifted up we're gonna figure that out in a second but this horse stable though i love it it is perfect for the space we had available i think a little two by two by two entrance. Yep, yep. I like it. What do you think? <laughs> I think it came out pretty cool. And then also, I started lifting up some stuff. So I did lift up this little area right here. And sh shut your mouth, kitty. Uh, but listen, I saw. Oh, I almost fell down here again. Scary. But I started lifting up this wall. I added the little crenelaciones over here on the side, which match exactly what we did over here. And we're gonna start working this out. Oh, and by the way, I have another cat. It's another cinnamon. It's a twin of cinnamon for some reason. Uh, you guys can name this one. Put hashtag cat. <laughs> Maybe this is cinnamon and that's toast crunch. I don't know. I'm being stupid, but let's go up to the top Let me show you what I got up here. All right here from this area. There it is I started lifting up this spot over here uh, And it's just a one two three four five six seven eight nine nine high from that base So we got this little outside little uh, Lining right and then we got this bad boy then I'm thinking from here uh, we could do another one of these uh, lovelies right there, you know, this little spot, and then go up one more level, and just like we did, can I parkour this? Ooh, boop, 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 boop. Just like we did over here, <laughs> you see? We have the third floor level being the, uh, the granite and the brick. We can repeat that style above on the next level. So technically, this is a one story, a two story, and then the next one will be the three story, and we'll do that brickish uh, granite style on that level over here. And I'm thinking we can go, I'm not sure the roof yet, the style, but maybe replicate what we did over here with those uh, little peaks and little pop-up spots. And then we also have a tower, parkour, there we go, uh, right here. This is a little back tower. I'm thinking that one, we could bring in a little bit of the, the whites in here because we don't have much of white around here. Just a little bit white and uh, diorite maybe. A little bit of the base mixture in the world. Uh, on the tippy top of the tower base. Shush your mouth, cinnamon and toast crunch. All right, your name is toast crunch, I'm sorry. Uh, but <laughs> I think we could get that set up. But really quick, this is what I'm gonna do. Let's get some materials together and let's just fill in these walls. Super simple, just like this. Just lift this from there to there. And the walls are up, textured, looking really nice. I still gotta break up stuff. I still gotta add the windows and decide where we can add actual more interest to this. But for right now, really simple. We have the same pattern we've been doing every single other spot. <laughs> and we got that all going around. And it's looking pretty good. We got a lot of space. We're also gonna recess it in by one, or we're gonna push the wall back in. Yeah, right? <laughs> we're gonna give it a cool little wallpaper theme here. I'm thinking of having this as a little spiral staircase to get to the next floor so we don't have to waste the space here. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe we can also do almost like a little bit of a walking area up here almost like a little overhang that looks down into the dining hall over here um let's see i might do a spot for a kitchen separate this whole th i don't know if i want this whole thing being a big giant dining hall maybe we'll see uh, what where does this go let's go into the mountain oh maybe we could play with that mountain and recess in a little more in here maybe have the kitchen like right inside here somewhere we'll see we'll, we'll get to that but let's go on to the next section and up here we're going to start lifting up more blocks we're going to bring in the brick we're going to bring in the granite and i'm going to start lifting up walls over here on this side also well well let's see maybe i need to lift the tower first uh yeah let me lift this up a little half circle thing for now um i don't know how much taller we want it definitely want it taller than this area here the floors there's going to be a big tall tower am i thicken up the base here as well 
So let's lift this up and see how high we can get it. And then we'll start lifting up the walls here with the granite and the brick and all the terracotta stuff. Look at the view from up here. Oh, this is so nice, but <laughs> check this out. So I got the tower pretty high. It's one, two, three, four blocks above the highest point, which is right over here. This should be the center point to that right there. Um, the main walls right here with the granite and the, uh, the bricks and terracotta is up by, well, to this point is nine from here to here. And then we're going a step up by two, 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 two. And then this is a one over here on this side. I think that's a pretty good uh, way to I, I went with the same style. So this one was the same thing It was like a one two two and then one But it's just a larger scale of the same thing So up here then this is what I want to do the same thing we did right there We're gonna put a wall then a fence and then an iron bar We're just gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down and some of these are gonna be mixed with some of the uh, The cobble just to make it look a little bit different and that should look pretty cool So I'm just gonna go ahead and mirror this and now once we have that in place I'm just gonna come back in here with our reds the, the red terracotta red concrete i also got a little bit of red wool and come down just like this so i'm gonna do twos just like so yeah these are twos these are also twos uh this one's gonna be a two as well this one's gonna be another two and this one over here is gonna be a one and then we just have to bring it all the way down this is a big boy roof right here uh it's looking awesome i did a little bit of the texturing too and i'm thinking about adding three big windows maybe like one two three i think uh well not really big windows like three medium sized thin windows that would fit this thing we could even maybe do one in the center or maybe like a tower on the side i don't know we'll see but uh next step for me is to come over here and do this so let me show you guys i did a little bit of a trim already here pretty much repeating what we did there i want to put it over here on this side and it's really not that hard it's just simple uh stair slab combos just like that it just rinse repeat all the way around uh and i think it's gonna look pretty cool so let me finish this off and uh yeah we'll decide how to do these windows i'm thinking hmm yeah i'm thinking three all right for now i got this it's all right i think i might change the texture up a little bit for now it's just dark oak but i'm getting a really nice outline here let me show you guys so it's, it's separated every two 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 and then it's two separation on each side so it's perfect uh for symmetry sake uh and then let's see let me bring this down i'm thinking right about here right let's see if i can match that so we got a stair here stair here and then i come up in the inside put a stair here upside down another upside down here and then bring these down like so one two three and then one two and three and then really super simple upside down stair 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 like this a slab here then we're gonna bring in the trap door right oh, watch this little trapdoor action right there and then on the tippy top we got a stair right there i think this might be the thing we go with uh maybe we change the texture on the edges to be something else maybe some spruce might actually break it up a little bit so it's not all dark oak but i think we got ourselves a nice preliminary start to a nice top here um i don't know if i want to add anything more to the top layer i have this kind of wrapping around like so so i think we're pretty good for now but now i gotta work on the tower bit and decide how to set that up i think i do want to still bring in that white if i do fall from here i am a dead person uh, i can do this though boop and boop oh baby let's take a step back let's go all the way back i'll be i'll be alive here too yeah here we go five four three two one and oh yes 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 that's cool that is cool then we gotta add little windows there in that little gap right there and i think we got ourselves a winner. That is going to be a nice dining hall. Oh, that is looking so good. Okay, tower time. I have been working so hard on this thing. What do you guys think of the interior so far? Oh, man, I've been doing a lot of work up there. The tower, it is looking so good. It is literally the next day. I think I've put about eight hours uh, into this uh, thing so far. And uh, it, I don't think we're close. I don't think we're close to finishing. I think uh, this episode is pretty much just going to be focused on this dining hall. But, oh man, I've been having so much fun though. This is coming together so nicely. But check out this interior. What do you guys think? I came up with a cool uh, checkerboard uh, flooring here. And this is pretty cool. This is coal blocks and polished diorite. Does that look like marble? Oh, it's so fancy. Uh, I ended up putting uh, the uh, th these looms here sideways. I got that trick from my girl, uh, my girl Pearl. Man, doing some crazy stuff, getting all the inspiration right there. And then I wanted to get a nice, uh, bright, uh, very colorful. It looks like, you know, I got inspired because the sun was setting. And I was like, you know what? I want to have some yellow in here. So we got some yellow terracotta with some of the uh, stripped oak. And that 
just looks so good. Uh, but let me finish off this checkerboard, and I think I got a good idea of how to set up the dining room here. Oh, it's gonna be so fancy. Let's go. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, this is looking so cool. Okay, so let's start out with the uh, the little chair here. I'm thinking right about this is center. I think to the room. And look, we have this open area up there i can't wait to show you that and over here really super simple just some upside down stairs just repeating going straight down and i think that gives it a nice trim with its really high ceilings one thing that i really like a lot is having this little uh little detail bit right here on the edge transitioning from inside to outside that looks so cool it is flat walls but we can still add those details with the stairs and trapdoors which really looks cool and then here on the windows i added those uh those little bits right there little trapdoors uh but i'm thinking smooth quartz as the stair fancy stair right and then come in here with some jungle traps right here one here and then one on the side so that'll be like the regular chair and i'm thinking a big king size one for me over here in the corner but uh let's see how about now i bring in some dark oak so one two three four five six and uh, this might be too much maybe uh, i think this might be too much hold on let's go like this did i go to maybe one more back maybe one more back here i think this might be i don't want it too close to this uh but let's see what if i wrap this around let's see i wanted to wrap these granites around like this i think i'm gonna push that back one um then this goes like this yeah, I'm gonna push this back. Let's push this back one time. Okay, I think that's good. The, the chair right to that door, perfect. And then we have enough space on this side. Yes, all right, perfect. And then I'm gonna put another chair here. We're gonna put a chair. Well, my main one is gonna go right up in the middle, which should be right there, right? I'm gonna put another one here, another one here, across right there. I think that should be perfect. And then for me, the big chair, I like sitting right in the center. So boom, something like that. And then two slabs maybe, and then come back with the trap doors and go with one, two, three, maybe? Something like that, and maybe bring these down. I think, maybe two more. Big chair, big, big back. All right, yeah, I think that's good. And then I can go ahead and just wrap these around real fast. Oh yeah, that's fancy, I like this. Okay, now next, let's do uh, some plates here with our pressure plates, right? Oh, that's right, there we go. Uh, I got some, oh. Excuse me. Uh, let's put some flowers. Every other one, maybe. Stop going down. Uh, and then I want some random cups, like scattered around, like that. There it is. Uh, maybe some uh, sea pickle action. Maybe I don't know. Just going around like so. And then we can fill. Oops. And then we can fill in the with with flowers on that. So something like this. I might bring in a cake or something too. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, how about over here? I want to do like a little bit of a bar over here. So what if we go with, um, hmm, let's see. Uh, let's go with these two bad boys right there. Maybe bring in these two guys like so. I think I got enough to make this. I got item frames on each side and we can make these little cabinets. Uh, wait, how would that open? Like that, okay. And then, oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, but I think something like that. Uh, I need an extra barrel. I only, I think I only brought one extra, but that's fine. I'm gonna bring another barrel, maybe put it on another corner. And then here we can go with like a little, a little keg kind of thing. I got tripwire hooks, okay. We got a little keg stand right there, that's perfect. And then a couple uh, little, you know, cups, little goblets right there, that looks awesome. Uh, and then maybe up here, we can work out something cool. Uh, maybe like something like so. Right, and then hold on. Let's see if I could get some chests up here. One, two, maybe, and then let's drag this down. So like a little uh, extra bit of detail up there. That's fine. Uh, so something like that. What can we put on this wall? Hmm. Maybe over here we could just go with one, two. Do that same style, right? One, two. Maybe another one, two. Maybe a trap right there. Maybe bring this one over here just to change it up. And then up there, we could put some uh, flowers and lights and stuff like that. Well, I'll set that up now. And then, let's see. Over here, we could do, I think, some of these little tables, maybe. Uh, maybe one here. And then maybe give it a space of maybe two. If, hold on. There's a space of one over here. Maybe do another one over right about there, maybe. I don't even know. Trap doors in between. Uh, I think that might be fine. What if we get some of these guys? Let's get some of these, too. And make like little candle holders or something, uh, or uh, lantern holders. I don't know. I should get uh, torches in here. I'm gonna replace those with torches. That'll be cool. 
and then over here, just some flower pots. You messed up. Something like that. Oh, that looks awesome. And I already have those awesome armor stands. Look at the little armor stand section. Um, I think that's good. Over here, we could do another couple of these. Let's maybe put one here. Let's do a longer one, maybe a long table. Uh, let's see, maybe, oops, I grabbed the loom. Something like this, and then maybe boom, and boom. Oh, that is lovely. And then we could maybe put a couple more flowers here, just randomly scattered. We can even throw an extra couple sea pickles there. That looks good. And also, I got some composters. You could throw these on the sides, and I got some bush, and we can go bam, and bam, right there. That is lovely. We could bring in some more light, of course, because we're gonna need it over here. Maybe another light over there. Throw a light maybe up top. Maybe a light up here, yes. Uh, and then maybe I can sneak one over there. Uh, I think that's a dining hall right here. Oops. All right, now, before we go any further, I gotta do this. Cinnamon, enjoy your name. And guess what? Toast Crunch, you're in. Let's go in the fan, baby. Let's do it. But uh, I, what's going on? S excuse me. Excuse me. No. No. Not right now. Did you just kill a spider? Huh. All right, so I gotta show you what's behind this door. I've been working hard on this one. You guys are gonna like it. Also, you know what? I'm not gonna go through that door. You know why? I'm gonna go through this other door. This, please don't see me, please don't see me. You're stupid, okay, bye. We're gonna go through this door. Because I added this little spot. I was like, you know what? What's the best place to put a kitchen? I think the best place to put a kitchen is in the basement, or technically the first floor. And also, I did a walkway to go up to the top top level because why not i love that that's super, super awesome i'll show you that in a second but let's go on the inside welcome to the castle kitchen oh baby let's go uh it's, it's not that crazy it's not that detailed we could have done a lot more crazier stuff we could have gone all the way down this it's fine i think it looks pretty cool i think it looks awesome check this out so we got a little bubbling section over here making all kinds of stews uh we got a uh grindstone holding this up with some trapdoor not trapdoors uh fest gates next to it and that looks so cool right uh also we got a little baking corner here with some smokers we got some extra barrels and a little cauldron action here on the side this little centerpiece island it looks so cool. We got some farmland in there and I put some crops on it. So it looks like technically th there's cat. You hungry? Okay. Uh, so it <laughs> looks like cinnamon is hungry. All right, listen, you're a beautiful cat. Uh, so it looks like the uh, the actual, uh, you, you distracted me. It looks like the carrots and the potatoes are about to get chopped. And these are like little uh, cutting boards right there. Uh, on this side, we got a little pantry, which looks really cool. I'm gonna put some trap doors on the inside part here, but that's fine. Let me do it right now, let me do it real quick. Boom, and then this closes up. Oh, that's perfect. And we have our little meat pantry right there, which looks amazing. Uh, you know what, I believe in 116, is not gonna be a thing anymore. We can't uh, extinguish these bad boys anymore with the food on top, which is, you know what, F in the chat for that one, uh, but that's fine. Uh, and then over here we have our pantry. Uh, well, that this is our uh, meat packing spot. It's a little pantry spot right here. Look how cool right here. You know, we got some extra plates here on the side. We got extra cups. We got barrels to keep all of the goods inside. Oh, it looks so cool. Uh, I left these as trap doors. I don't want to put doors here. I want to kind of keep this like an open feel. And the flooring, checkerboard again, but just granite, the polish and the regular. What do you guys think? Cinnamon loves it. Cinnamon, stop eating that. That's sage. Don't, don't eat my sage. Uh, and then over here, we got <laughs> a nice painting. And then this goes over to this side, which we're going to be working on the main hall in the next one. But so far, I think this is coming out really, really good. Let's go upstairs again. We got this thing we did together. It looks really, really awesome. And then also, let me take you up to the next level. We don't have anything up here really, but I'll show you. We got a spiral staircase. It takes us all the way to the tippy top. Once we get to this part right here, it should stop there. And that's it. <laughs> uh, I stopped the way up from this because uh, the spiral would have been a little bit too messy if we keep going up. So this kind of stops right here. We got our windows looking out right on that side. And then we got our way into this section. Look at this. Oh, baby, the big open feel right there it makes me feel good and then we have this little banister kind of thing i wanted to use um lectern blocks but i don't think i have enough to make that but down here we could look down and see the dining hall which is looking so good uh, this is exactly what i was envisioning uh, on the top here pretty simple just some uh beams right there of dark oak with some spruce slabs and over here just a little bit of bush corner a little bush corner that's not bad uh and then right here check this out i had to find out a way an intricate way of getting a step up, a little stair to get up. And I think this kind of nails it, right? But look at this. 
can overlook this area right there. Oh, it looks so good. Uh, but here, a little bit of a closet. That's no big deal. But here, we got a little, uh, a little stair that goes up. You can overlook here. And then this takes us up to this main area. Now, I have no idea what to put up here. Uh, put hashtag up here. Let me know what to put up here. I have no idea. What should go above the dining hall all the way to the top here? Maybe servant quarters, I guess? The people who you know, give me all my food, all the cooks and stuff, maybe? I don't know. What should I put up here? Let me know. I love the ceiling, though. Pretty simple, pretty detailed. <laughs> it looks awesome. Uh, but then also we got views, man. Views all over the place. Uh, not so much this side, but the other side. And then this spiral takes us up to the tippy, tippy top. And then up here, this is the top of the tower. Don't get dizzy. And then this is the design I went with some of the white. So white concrete, white, uh, the beautiful uh, diorite white right there. A little polished there in the corners. Some note blocks for added details. You can't really see that much of it on the outside, but the little light detail touches look so cool. Big vault of ceiling. I got to fix this still. It's a little bit broken. I, I ran out of dark oak uh, slides. I'll come back here and fix that up. But uh, I have a um, pretty cool tower tip. For this thing so let me show you guys that i go out the outside and i think you might like it i think it came out pretty cool but that see i gotta fix that okay I, hold on all right let's do some more parkour let's jump down i think you guys might like this let's go all right i started lifting up the walls we were definitely not gonna be able to finish this uh on this episode next one maybe but here it is five four three two one ariel has to look at it too ariel take a look yes is that cool i think that came out pretty cool Look at that, a lovely combo that you don't see anywhere around here. And it gives you that pop of that white. Oh, and the stone here, it was pretty much exactly how we had it. I didn't add much more to it. I just did a little bit of a trim around it. Every five blocks, or technically seven, right? From here to up here is seven, but it's a five block gap space in between each uh, little crenellation thing right here. There's another one, and then another one, and then last one right here on the top. And then in between each, we got walls up and down, and then just some fences going down like that. And then we did our patented, uh, let's put a little campfire block with a fence gate on top kind of thing. Uh, and the, 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 I like this, I like this tower. So it's uh, a three, and then we pushed it back, and then went by, by two, and then pretty much repeated this pattern all the way around, and then the uh, the top bit here. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can get a farther back view before the sun goes down. Oh, let's do some parkour. We'll live through this. I think oh, that's good. Okay, run, run. Oh, the sun's going down. Look at it. Look at that. So I did pretty much the same style over here, but just a little bit bigger. And then with dark oak in the trim instead of the spruce and then spruce on the inside. So I wanted to keep some of that wood as well. So it doesn't have to all look like that. What do you guys think of that tower? Oh man, a little wizard tower. Maybe on the top there we could do a little bit of a wizard spot, a little library or something I was thinking. Uh, but definitely wizardy, right? Yeah, we could put a little mage up there, a little mage tower with the dining hall. Oh, this is looking so good. Just one more build to go. This big boy right here, I think that's going to be the main one. And I think after that, we just got to finish little interior bits. But oh baby, you guys going to bed? Did you see that yet? You know what? Let's take a look from up here. This guy's been waiting for this view for the longest time. Are you ready? Yes? Nod your head. Yes? Yes, he is. He's ready. He's ready. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. From up here, the top of the tower. Oh, baby. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it looks so good with the increased field of view. Oh, look at it. Oh, I just can't wait to get that front part done. That is going to be the one that makes it all pop off. I think it's going to look really nice. What do you guys think so far of our castle? Come on. Oh, this is so cool. You know what? Let me know what you think. I think by the next episode, we can lift up that main palace thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish the interiors because the, the interior literally takes longer than lifting up those walls. So uh, if anything, we'll, we'll see. We can, we can do as much as we can. And I think once we finish it, we'll do a big world tour. And then that would be it before 116, baby. Because I know that's... that's pfft, hopefully it doesn't come out tomorrow. Please don't come out tomorrow. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration if you guys are building up your own castles. And if you are, send me pictures. I want inspiration back. Give me inspiration back, okay? <laughs> We're almost done with this thing. But I'm super, super happy with how it's turned out so far. And I can't wait to keep going. All right, I'm out of here for now. Let me keep, I got to keep building. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. You know what? Before we go... How about a quick little cinematic? Let's take a closer look. Every time. That doesn't make sense.